Everybody knows EV charging is slow, right? Well, not anymore. Lithium's grip on the battery world might be slipping. And the twist, the shakeup, is coming from the very titan that built that empire. CATL, the biggest lithium battery manufacturer on the planet, just threw a curveball. Nearly half the industry, they say, could soon be running on sodium. Yeah, salt. It's cheaper, easier to find, and now almost just as powerful. It's a bold move, like the king betting against his own crown. So now the question is heating up. Are we witnessing the fall of lithium's reign or just another tech trend that fizzles out fast? Let's find out. CATL, the world's biggest battery maker with nearly 40% of the global market, just made a move that caught everyone off guard. While most companies are chasing solid state tech, CATL is betting big on something that sounds almost too simple, sodium. That's right, an element found in ordinary table salt could be the next heavyweight in energy storage. And when the giant of lithium batteries starts backing sodium, the entire industry pays attention. In a bold November 2024 statement, CATL co-founder Robin Zhang challenged the narrative that solid state batteries are the next big thing. Instead, he argued that sodium ion batteries might actually be the smarter path forward. And he's not just talking, they're already doing it. CATL has managed to integrate sodium into a hybrid battery pack, blending lithium and sodium to boost range in electric vehicles. That's no small feat. Sodium batteries have always lagged behind in energy density, which usually means more bulk and weight, something no EV maker wants to deal with. But CATL found a workaround. That hybrid system keeps performance high while lowering costs and improving safety. Now they're gearing up to launch their second gen sodium batteries later this year. This new version will hit over 200 watt hours per kilogram. That's still below the 300 mark that top tier lithium batteries can hit, but it's a huge leap from their first gen sodium packs, which only reached 160. That kind of progress signals something big and CAT LE isn't the only one in the race. All across the globe, companies are ramping up sodium battery production because while lithium still leads in performance, sodium is quietly stacking the deck in its favor. It's cheaper, easier to source, and way more environmentally friendly. In an industry where raw materials are king, that changes everything. So what's so special about sodium? The tech behind sodium ion batteries mirrors that of lithium ion ones. Same structure, similar efficiency just a different key ingredient. The energy cycle from charge to discharge stays clean and effective. That makes the switch easier for manufacturers who already understand the lithium blueprint. But here's the catch. Sodium still can't compete with lithium on energy density, which limits how widely it can be used. That said, the perks sodium offers in return are tough to ignore. For starters, it's everywhere. Sodium is abundant, found in oceans and extracted through cleaner processes than the ones used to mine lithium. That cuts down on environmental damage and avoids the harsh mining practices currently used to harvest rare metals. And that's just the economic angle. Add in fewer supply chain headaches, less geopolitical pressure, and lower costs. And suddenly sodium looks like the smarter bet. But there's more. Sodium ion batteries also come with a stack of technical upsides. They're more stable under stress handling extreme temps better than lithium ever could. No drama in the cold, no meltdowns in the heat. That means better safety, especially in large setups like solar farms, where even one battery failure can trigger a cascade of problems. And in fire-prone regions like the southwestern US or rural Australia, that kind of safety is essential. Temperature plays a huge role in battery performance, especially for electric vehicles. Lithium tends to struggle when things get cold, Below minus 20 degrees Celsius, lithium ions start freezing up, getting stuck on the battery's outer layer instead of flowing cleanly to the anode. That causes weak performance, and in some cases, shorts that can ruin the battery. Sodium doesn't have that issue. CATL's second-gen sodium batteries are still performing at minus 40 degrees Celsius. That alone is turning heads in the EV world. It's the kind of resilience that can expand electric vehicle use into places where lithium just can't keep up. That's why sodium is becoming a strategic focus. The real question now isn't whether sodium ion batteries will matter, it's how soon they'll take over. With performance climbing, 
costs dropping and safety improving, the stage is set for a massive market shakeup. And if the number one battery maker in the world is leading the charge, it might just be the start of a whole new chapter in the energy game. BYD, Catel's biggest rival, is also gearing up for a serious shakeup in the battery game. The company is sinking major cash into a massive new project. And it's not just about keeping up, it's about taking the lead in sodium ion battery tech. Last year, BYD started laying down the bones of a high-tech factory that could very well become ground zero for the future of energy storage. The plan? Hit full throttle by 2027. If everything goes to schedule, that plant will be cranking out a jaw-dropping 30 gigawatt hours of sodium ion batteries every year. And this isn't just for show. BYD's all-in strategy is starting to pay off. The company is flooding the market with innovation, forcing the competition to keep up. These sodium ion batteries, or PsiBs, are a key part of BYD's larger game plan to broaden its lineup while cutting down production costs. And here's where things start to get really interesting. BYD expects these batteries to match the price of lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries by this year end. That's just around the corner. Analysts think there's even a chance prices could drop up to 70% further down the line. If that happens, it could flip the whole battery industry on its head. The big milestone just landed. BYD rolled out its first ever utility scale sodium battery system, the MC Cube. It's packing serious power, 1,155 kilowatts of output and 2.3 megawatt hours of storage. That's not quite at the level of today's top tier lithium ion systems, which hover around five megawatt hours. But for sodium tech, it's a serious leap forward. Still, the comparisons are unavoidable. Sodium's not quite there yet in terms of raw power, but that's not the only metric that matters. The bigger question is whether sodium's unique benefits can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with lithium's dominance. If BYD hits its cost goals, and if performance keeps climbing, the floodgates could open. Industries from data storage to backup power systems could jump on board. Until then, though, it's all about potential. BYD's not going solo in this race. Over in China, other heavyweights are hustling too. Zhejiang Huna Energy just made waves with a major announcement. Their new production line, custom built for sodium ion cells, is officially up and running. They're already rolling out four gigawatt hours worth of product, and that's just the warm up. Plans are in motion to ramp that up to 20 gigawatt hours, proving that the momentum behind sodium isn't slowing down. Salt, the raw material behind sodium ion tech, is cheap and everywhere. That's a huge edge. If companies can figure out how to harness it right, there's a chance for long-term sustainability that lithium just can't offer. And with the pressure on to find alternatives to rare earth materials, sodium's moment could be coming fast. Then there's Natron, the company that's turned a lot of heads with some wild claims and even wilder performance numbers. Based in California, but making big moves in China too, Natron has been breaking all kinds of records. Their solid state sodium batteries are in a league of their own charging and discharging 107 times faster than lithium batteries with an unreal lifespan of 50,000 full cycles. That's decades of use with barely a scratch. But Natron's playing it close to the chest. So far, they've refused to share key details about energy density, one of the biggest hurdles for sodium tech. According to a 2022 report in Chemical and Engineering News, Natron's batteries clock in at about 70 watt hours per kilogram, that's decent for large-scale storage, but way off the mark for electric vehicles, where weight and energy density are everything. Even with that gap, Natron's got something the others don't. Scale. They're in the middle of building a sodium ion gigafactory in North Carolina, aiming for a colossal 24 gigawatt hours of yearly output. That's a giant leap from their current smaller plant in Michigan. They're not just chasing hype, they're gearing up to mass produce this stuff and get it into the real world. Right now, sodium ion is still the underdog, but it's closing in fast. The price advantage is real, the tech is improving, and companies are moving from prototypes to full-scale production. BYD, Natron, and others aren't just betting on sodium, they're building around it. If the numbers hold up, and if density and performance continue to improve, the market could see a massive shift away from lithium dominance. The clock's ticking. Lithium supplies are finite, expensive, and tied up in messy geopolitics.
Sodium, on the other hand, is cheap, abundant, and ready to disrupt. The players are in place, the factories are rising, and the breakthroughs are stacking up. The only question left is, who's going to crack the code first? Because once that happens, there's no going back. Thanks for watching. Drop a comment, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more. Get to subscribe for more.